and you're a long, long time ago. Me, Ma, and Pa, and Big Cousin Luke, and Brother Ned, we went to see Grandma. How well I remember back years ago when I was just a kid. Pa allowed as how I could sleep upstairs in Uncle John's old bedstead. I reckon it right I'd be the one to sleep upstairs alone so the older folks could sit a while and talk about things back home. But we had no sooner than got to bed and life's good night had been said, I began to feel all that water I drank before I went to bed. It was a long, long walk to the outhouse, and I thought of it with dread. I hated to get up for very long. I done wound up the bed. But somewhere along about the middle of the night, I could no longer be still. I figured I had best get up and go before I went against my will. And then I remembered what Grandma's words, just look outside the door and there'll be a thunder mug sitting on the floor. I pushed back the door and there it was before my eyes revealed. It was just like finding a cold soda pop in the middle of a hot cornfield. I lifted the lid right there and then. I took aim on the thing. It was done too late for me to stop when it commenced to rain. It rang like the bell at Liberty Square. It roared like the Mississippi. It rattled the windows, it shook the rafters, my heart commenced to flip. I thought I heard my pa downstairs. I was so scared I dang I cried. If I woke the folks, I sure did know my pa would have my hide. And after the danger was past and gone, I fell to my knees on the floor. I prayed for wisdom to never use the thunder mug no more.